let's look a little closer at the Australian National Insect Collection. Do you like looking at insects in your garden? Did you know that there are scientists who look at insects every single day? They can work here, the CSIRO Australian National Insect Collection. Let's go take a look inside. The Australian National Insect Collection is the world's largest collection of Australian insects. There are over 12 million specimens kept here. A specimen is an insect preserved by scientists so they can learn about it. Insects can be pinned or stored in vials of ethanol. The millions of pinned insects are kept in these cabinets, organised in drawers depending on what kind of insect they are. The specially designed drawers protect the insects from being damaged and also stop them from being eaten by pests so that they can be studied by scientists into the future. The collection is always growing and because they're so well preserved, these specimens can last for hundreds of years. Some specimens are extremely important because they are the insect the species was described from. Like the beetles with the red labels, these insects are called type specimens and scientists use them to check if an insect they have found is a new discovery or a species that already has a name. Just like humans, one species of insect can display a whole range of colours, shapes and sizes, which is when large collections like this one become important. Scientists need to know where and when an insect was collected, so all specimens, even these tiny beetles, have labels recording their information. The collection is like a library for insects. It's used by the CSIRO scientists who work here, but also by scientists all over the world, who either visit the collection here in Canberra or have specimens sent to them. These scientists look a little closer at the insects in Australia, so we can better learn about our environment and protect and conserve it into the future. Like looking at the creepy crawlies in your garden, you may want to be an insect scientist. Anyone can be a scientist, and the best way to start is to look a little closer at the world around you. Subscribe to Look a Little Closer for more videos about the little things in your garden.